Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Terra Tech, where we're um, actually testing out the, uh, the, well actually you can see it now, the the mine, um, the automatic mine. Um, so I don't know if those things are unlimited or not, um, I mean, if it, they are, I mean, we got three spots right there, and then one right there that we can actually, and theoretically, actually even one right there, where we can, act, uh, and actually some more, oh, and actually four, five right there, where we can get theoretically unlimited amounts of, of in this case that specific resource um can't remember what it's called if that's the case um unlimited money we can actually buy just about anything we want um what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out to see just how much uh we've actually been able to build up at our other at our little mining location here actually i'm gonna move these batteries to the front just to just make sure the weight's okay we're actually going to go and take a look. Do I not have a radar? Yeah, let's add a radar to this thing. We're going to take a look to see just how much this thing has. Like, if it's if there is a set limit, it's still going. And one just popped out. Uh, wow. Okay. So, I don't think there's a limit to these things anymore. If that's the case, I'm I'm really liking it. Like maybe if it takes longer and longer and longer for them to show up, but theoretically we can make an infinite, infinite money maker from these things. If we see another one pop out, this thing has been going for basically all night and a half a day. Yeah, there's another one. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna assume these things are now infinite. Um, let's just get that out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna take you and just put you like that for the second. I'm just gonna lift you up and do that. You can go. Yeah. I should have enough for storage for all of this. I do. Perfect. Okay. Um, I didn't bring the SCU with me, so for the moment, uh, we're gonna have to carry some stuff here, and we're gonna have to avoid any bad guys, which might be a little hard to do. This is very valuable cover. This stuff's pretty expensive. Um, we're gonna make ourselves a little, uh, a little supply depot here. Gonna get away from the bad guy there. But I mean, theoretically, if uh, this is unlimited, like my, like, like I believe, we're gonna have a really good money-making opportunity here, as the Ferengi say in uh, Star Trek, a very lucrative opportunity. Um. Oh, I need to make myself a quick little bunging around vehicle here. Do we not have a simple little... No. Really? Oh, that's my base, isn't it? Antonote, we're missing... Just those. I have no idea what's in there. Uh, but I'm going to put down a base block first. Do I not have... I thought I, there it is. Geocore base block. Um, I don't want to put it near the trees so much because once they rejuvenate they will pretty much show up and just punch the... Um, I'm actually put it here because that gives us the ability to access a hill there. Okay. Next we're gonna need we're gonna fabricator and a refinery. Perfect. Okay. So the refinery is gonna be connected to the fabricator. Uh, fabricator is going to be the last thing we have. So we're gonna have kind of like this. Remember, most of this is going to be just temporary. So it's going to go like that. And then the refineries, which are... Actually, the refinery can go like... Both of them can just attach like so for now. That's no big deal. Then on this side is going to actually be that. 
and that is what actually takes in the resources. Now this is just a temporary build, just so that we can use this to kind of... Um, that one, can I... Is the SCU too far? Yeah, the SCU too far. Now, I'm going to bring the SCU over real quick. Well, actually, I can probably... Mm, can I click and throw them so that they're in range? Ah, I can't. Perfect. Click and throw. Click and... Th well, actually, you... No, you're fine. Click and throw. Click and throw. I'm going to just bring it over. And basically, the plan will be to just drive in real quick. Drop everything off. And everything will be stored on these little... Uh, the four packs here. Later on, we'll have to upgrade this to something a little bit more substantial. But what we're going to do... Uh, I can't fabricate anything yet because I don't have all the other materials. Um, but one of the plans is to basically be able to fabricate our own stuff. Uh, the minute we have self-sufficiency in this game, like a lot of other games I play, self-sufficiency is the key. Once you become self-sufficient, you're laughing. Wow, this thing's stacked pretty high. No, nope. Alright, we're good there. We maxed that out. Um, can I buy another one? I cannot. Oh, how much does it take to make one? Aha, manufacturing block. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so I can actually make... Do I have 24 of these? Four. Interesting. So I can actually do this to store our material. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to have to try that right now. then it's just going to spit it right out. Now this is going to be amazing for storage, because then we get a scrapper. Because right now we have no use for this. But if we can get something to just store this stuff temporarily while we make boxes, like chunks of it, this is definitely going to be a game changer, I'll tell you that. Raw one snuck in there. 21, 22, 23, and 24. Wow, that's also a really big block, though, too. Boom. So we got what? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. So we need six more of that stuff. I wonder. So we need six more blocks. So if I grabbed a miner real quick. This is where we see if it truly is unlimited or not. Um, I'm going to actually charge our batteries up real quick. Or swap our batteries out, sorry, with some recharge batteries. Um, this will actually render this guy completely obsolete if we can actually do this. Um... I'm actually going to redesign the rear part of this guy to actually transport this. Because this is the case. Him transporting these parts and just collecting is going to be the the thing for this, for this tech at this point. Because then if it just goes around real quick and collects what it needs to collect... That is going to be... It's going to be a game changer. Uh, oh, I need to be able to get a silo, though, too. Huh? God damn it. I have a silo, right? I do. Right there. Okay, so we'll just attach the silo temporarily there. Do we have... Oh, we don't have a... Uh, one of the little sucky things. Um, yeah, I'll just take one from you for now. Well, actually, no, we won't. We'll just buy one real quick. I just called it a sucky thingy. I did.
I like how now that I've made one, I can actually, or the Rhodius, I can actually now just buy a Rhodius block if I want to. And I'm just going to connect you to there for now. So, theoretically, uh, 24 of these things makes one. So, we have what? Uh, 8, uh, 16, 17, we have 18. So, we need six more of those. Stay away from you. So what I would do is go like so. Wait, no, it's going to spit it in the wrong direction. Just like that. And then we just wait for six, I'm assuming. See if one even pops out. And there's one. Hi. Right. So with that in mind, I'm gonna put that there for now. Uh, I'm gonna go do some other stuff, and then we'll come back. Well, oh, oh, damn it. We'll come back to it in a little bit. All right, so we're going to go do a mission. We're also going to get this guy out of here. There's some fighting going on over there. So remember, we just need six. Anything more than six will probably sell. And... Oh. All right, so we're going to... Collect or select our big guy here. Do one more mission. Scanning the area for missions. Okay, well, I'm just going to close that out for a temporary second here while I grab some batteries to put on our tech. See, if that works, then I'm going to be just so excited. Because that means that the very rare materials, though still will be rare, you can access them a lot easier. Um, obviously, you can now make large, uh, we'll say, stockpiles a lot easier by just stockpiling the part, like the the pieces, one on top of the other. I'm gonna assume when the part's destroyed, you also though lose those 24 points of uh, of stuff. So, come on. There we go. Uh, Fast and the curious punks and unboxing. We'll do unboxing punks. I'm going to assume that's our license to the venture stuff. So we're going to go for that first. Oh, we're doing the delivery crate first. Okay. It is pretty much one of the more closer... What is stuck in front of me? Um, really? I wedged myself. Oh, we don't have our SEU. We gotta go back and get our SEU. There's a lot of guys fighting over here. If you look on the map real quick. So this video is probably gonna go longer than the usual 15 minutes. For the record. Come on. Come on. Boom. Okay, right, we're good. Go! Go, Power Rangers. Go, go, go. That's interesting. Put that right there. What the hell is that? Why don't I look at that first? If I need to make a very fast tech, I'm gonna be a little while. Is that a tech in a tree? Is this a race that I have to do? Oh yeah, screw that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. I don't have a, a fast vehicle. But I do have something that can take these guys on. 
And the bright side, we'll double back as well and look to see how our mine is doing. I wonder if my rounds can hit him from here. Ooh, holy frame rate there for a second. Kill you all with my mining stuff. Well, well, let's see what we got. Well, at the same time, I'm going to set up a quick little thing to grab some resources here. Oh, yeah, you can go there. Tesla coil! Yes! Tesla coil! Where is it? There it is! Yeah! We have it made. With that Tesla coil, we are now going to be able to charge up our batteries. Oh, good. There's the actual really good stuff right there. Perfect. We're going to be able to uh, charge up our batteries really quick, really fast, and really, really good. Um, I don't want to really do much other than hold that. Come on. What is that right there? Oh, it's just a light. Tesla coils, yes. Been wanting a Tesla coil forever. We're not doing the venture thing. We'll do the unboxing next. Um, do I have? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Uh, do, 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 do. yeah. Let's keep going. Our batteries are a little low, so what I'm going to do real quick is take this out. Get our two. And boom! Recharging! I am so happy with that now. I will buy another one of you, please. I don't know where you landed. There you are. Boom! Boom! I am so happy for this. This Tesla coil is going to change, change everything. Change everything. Um, oh, actually, I wanted to check. What we're actually going to do is we're actually going to not do the unboxing crate yet. What we're actually going to do, you don't roll away. Okay, good boy. We're actually going to go check our, uh, our mine over here. And it looks like it's got quite the, quite the amount of stuff, actually. Anything greater than six, we're just going to sell them. Only because this stuff's rare anyways. Though I think I might need some raw. I think I might need raw stump. Some of it raw anyway, so. Wow, yeah, okay. So, um. I'm going to assume there's going to be a big pile out front of it at this point. Because it's completely full. Wow, okay, so yeah, so my hypothesis is correct. This is unlimited. It's unlimited. It is unlimited. That is amazing. That is awesome. This changes the game so much. So we're going to end on that cue, and in the next one, um, we're going to, in the next episode, we're actually not going to do a mission, but we're actually going to set up, uh, possibly depending on how our fabrication setup is, um, or even our purchase ability is, we are actually going to, um, and most likely, going to uh, set ourselves up some uh, little money-making uh, systems here in play. We're actually going to get some of you as well. Thank you. Just need a little bit of that so I can build some uh, some storage stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.